Hello, this is Josh with Apex Home Inspections. Today is September 4th, 2013. I am here at 7700 Northeast Tillamook Street in Portland, Oregon, doing a video inspection of the sanitary sewer. We're gaining access to the line through a four inch cast iron clean out located very near the base of the stack. Here at the base of the clean out, we zero off the foot counter. We begin our inspection from here. A little bit of stuff built up in this clean out. It has not been successfully opened in a very long time. This is 3 inch, not 4 inch, I apologize. Stuff on my lens. It's terrible. As you can see, I do run a steady stream of water throughout my inspections. This steady stream of water allows me to visibly see the grade of the sewer. That is how steeply the line is running downhill. It also tends to keep things a little cleaner moving in the pipe system. As I do tend to break free a little bit of loose grease and debris. I pulse a little bit now and then try and keep my lens wet. Some stuff on there. Line the roof here at about 17 feet. I think we're getting real close to the uh, foundation wall. This is a very nice sign. Here at 23 feet. A nice smooth transition, what appears to be a 4 inch ABS. This is a modern plastic. Came out about 1975, so that can put a, could possibly as old as date. I would assume a bit newer. You see a much slicker material. Stays cleaner naturally. Take a bit of a diving turn across the yard. Turn back the other way, straightening out with the road. And of course, as we transition what appears to be a six inch concrete, we have a large filtering root penetration at 39 feet. I'm going to go ahead and push past this for now. get a locate on that on my return trip really shows that um, something was improperly done making that transition there should be a large rubber fern co to make the seal between the four inch pipe and the six inch pipe and I would imagine there was some failure in that fern co or the existence of to allow those roots to grow into the pipe. Get under water a little bit here. Looks like possibly a little bit of reverse grade. Get a second look at that on my return trip.
make our connection with the main here at about 71 feet. In our return trip, get the line of toilet flush, and wash out some of the material we're breaking loose, reduce any possible damming effects. water moving through. Keep in mind my camera lens sits very close to the bottom of the pipe. It's approximately a half an inch from the bottom of the pipe. I don't want to push back out through that with a dry line. I'm going to come back to the root penetration here. This is where we're going to first pause the tape. This is going to be my first locate. We'll pause the tape for a moment, step outside, see where the camera head lies. That's not going to cost a Okay, we have a fairly dry line here. Um, I was able to accurately locate my camera head under these roots 10 feet deep right at the sidewalk line. We're going to advance forward again. Making our way through. Just taking a little bit of evaluation. Just a little bit of water in the pipe. This isn't really standing water, this is really just kind of a minimal grade, uh, not, not a primary concern there. As we make our way back towards the clean out here, I'll go ahead and begin finalizing the DVD. We saw a total of 71 feet of sewer from the clean out in the basement bathroom all the way out to the city main. The line does appear to be currently functioning. Uh, we do have a good sized uh, filtering root penetration at the transition from the 4 inch ABS plastic. 6 inch concrete. This is at the line of the right of way on the home side of the sidewalk. The homeowner is responsible to the curb. It is 10 feet deep through this right of way, so spot repair will probably be about as costly as uh, replacing the concrete pipe through the right of way on out to the curb. 
uh, is there should be too much of a difference in uh, bid prices. My suggestion here would be to go ahead and replace the six inch concrete pipe as it uh, has a more limited time span, uh, lifespan than the plastic materials. There's some large trees there and one of the main vulnerabilities of the concrete pipe is root penetration so the plastic would reduce the chances of future issues. At minimal I recommend a spot repair to remove the root penetration from the transition and rebuild the fern coat joint at that point to re resist future root penetration. Thank you very much.